Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is the Secure SQD 60B soldering iron with a working temperature from 100 up to 400 degrees, an LED display screen and removable soldering iron tips that we are going to check out in this video. This is the packaging of the Secure SGD60B My One comes with a TS1 soldering iron tip. First, when we get it out of the box, we see how small the soldering iron actually is. We can easily put in the soldering iron tip into the secure SGD60B soldering pan to put the soldering iron together. The secure SGD60B comes with two menu buttons for changing the working temperature and even for setting up a sleep time in order to regulate down the temperature to only 100 degrees when the soldering pan isn't in use. At the back of the D60B solder pan we have the USB-C connector. The soldering iron tip is replaceable. My one is a type TS1 soldering iron tip, but you are free to choose your favorite one while placing your order. You can select between different types of iron tips for your D60 and you can even buy additional ones. The secure SGD 60B soldering iron kit also comes with a soldering iron stand. We also get a USB-C connection interface and a XT60 adapter for powering the SGD60 from a 3 to 6S battery. We also get some tools for maintenance and some secure stickers. Last, we also get a very detailed user manual. Now we are going to power up the SQD60 soldering iron. The first thing you probably think about when you see the USB-C connection interface maybe is, can I power this SD60 from a common USB charger? But checking the specs of a common USB charger makes clear that the output voltage of only 5V doesn't match the technical parameters of the SGD60. But here you can even get the SQD60B with a PDB power adapter with an US or EU plug. You can even buy it separately if you missed it while placing your order of the SQD60. I'm going to use a 4S battery with the XT60 connector for powering the SQD60B. And at this point you probably will notice that you can even use the SD60 as an out on the field repair soldering iron for your drones or SC cars, planes or whatever. Once we have powered up the secure SQD60B, the LED screen shows us the current working temperature. We can easily change the temperature with the help of the two menu buttons. And now the SD60B is quickly heating up to the selected working temperature. Now let's do a quick side by side and size comparison to the soldering irons I have been using so far. For example, that's in soldering iron with a small iron tip and a fixed output power and working temperature I've been using for soldier works on the flight controller. Here we have a soldering iron with a higher working temperature and a wider iron tip I've been using for soldering the motor wires on the ESC or the battery wire onto the battery pads of the PDB. And at last, here we have a soldering station with an adjustable working temperature. And now at the first sight, the secure SQD60B apparently combines all of my different soldering irons I've been using so far in only one small soldering iron pan. Next I'm going to do a few test solder works. First I'm going to solder a small wire on a flight controller. Then I will add motor wires on an ESC followed by a XT60 connector onto the power pads of a PDB. 
Okay, here's my first test with a working temperature of 300 degrees. All in all, it works pretty good as expected. Next, we increase the working temperature up to 400 degrees in order to give it a chance to solder the motor wires onto the ESC solder pads, even with this small soldering iron tip. And again, it's working very good. So let's find out if we can even add the XT60 battery cable to the power pads with a secure SQD60 and the small iron tip that I'm currently using. Even that's working pretty good, but I definitely would recommend a wider iron tip for this job. Finally, I'm pretty impressed by the secure SQD60B soldering iron pan. It's definitely going to be my favorite soldering iron from now on, and it's going to replace my other ones for doing the different solder works on my quadcopter builds. Therefore, I'm also going to order additional soldering iron tips and the secure power adapter. What's your opinion about the secure SQD60B soldering iron? Tell me your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for watching and see you next time.